You're listening to Slightly Warped, the podcast that tackles topics from every angle. Here's Richard Kearney and Ryan Foley. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. He's Big Show. I'm Rick. I am. And uh Show, how's your week been so far? So far, so good. Today was a little taxing. I'm a little tired, but we're going to get through this. And uh, I, I th- Maybe I'm just resting up for that Super Bowl celebration on Sunday. That could be. I mean, I'm going a little different today. Or, the lights or dim crying. Down. I'm just trying to like chill. Well, you know what, though? It's not really anything to cry about. I mean, you made it to the big dance again. You know, what is this, the third time for this core group? And when I say core group, I mean Andy, Patrick, and uh, Travis. Kelsey? Yeah, Yeah. I'd say that would be the core group. Yeah, third time in four years. Yeah. Now, we'll get to the Super Bowl in a little bit because I want your thoughts on uh, McCole Hardman since he's not going to be playing and, and and some other neat little tidbits that uh, might be going on right now. But uh, I'm going to take it away from sports for a second. I want to talk to you about scams. Okay. And um, matter of fact, I think it was you that sent a, a funny meme last week that made me think about this. By the way, the checks my, in the mail. My 1995 to teach you how to not get scammed. Yeah. Yep. What we need to do is talk to people about scamming because scamming is real. It does happen. And it's no longer a um, old people are the victims kind of thing. These scammers are out here hitting everybody. Yeah, I still think the old folks are the primary targets, but they're mm-hmm. getting so innovative with their scams that they're they're catching people that aren't aware. Yeah, I had somebody call me actually last week and they said that they were from the Social Security Administration and there was some fees owed. So, you know, I was kind of hip to it. Not 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 being racist, but the uh, accent gave it away. Um, oh yeah, whatever whatever his name was. I immediately said, "Huh, that's funny. I need to talk to my boss about it because of where I work." And he asked me where I work because he thought he was ready to give some information. Social Security office. <laughs> and he hung up on me just like that. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like messing with them scammers. Yeah. I always get the I always get the one that it's a uh, you re- you know ring you pick it up and it's a voicemail about your Amazon account has been hacked or something and blah yeah. blah 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 blah. You press one to talk to somebody. So I always press one. I had my daughter crack it up because I put it on speaker one day and they you know thank you for calling Amazon call center or something. And obviously that same non-racial uh accent and uh they were like can i have your name i was like you should have my name you just called me how can i help you <laughs> well you called us uh, no no you called me how can i help you you're calling me what's up well i need to get your information you should have it you called me uh-huh. piss them off enough to where they just hang up uh and, and and you know what i i love pissed them off because They'll take you out of the freaking system and until the next call. No, they the won't. One They'll that just I get the most, I get the uh, letters from some prince of some country that says I've got a lot of money over there, and all I need to do is send them some money so they can send me some money. I'm like, really? are you getting that via email? Yeah, yeah. That's those have been going around 
forever. I actually had a driver that quit his job because he thought that he was about to come into some money. And we tried to explain to him, you don't have an Uncle Habib, okay? <laughs> <laughs> your your name is Jethro Jenkins. You don't have an Uncle Habib. I and, think uh, I'm going to reply to one of those emails next time. Just tell him, hey, just uh, send me half and you can keep the other half and uh, just take it out of that. Don't reply because that's how they get, that's how, that's the interest way to your computer. Mm. Immediately delete. Don't, 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 don't respond to anything like that. Cause that's their interest way into getting your IP address and all that good stuff. There's actually a good YouTube channel and I'll look it up, but it's a guy that actually, uh, attacks the scammers. Really? And like, yeah, and like there was one, and he's he's a he himself could be a scammer if he wanted to. He's that good tech technology wise, but like he actually turned on the camera of the scanner on his computer so they could see what he looked like and give it to the police. And he hmm. and I guess you know, it, and it was just a nanosecond because the scammer realized his computer was on and immediately shut his laptop, but it nice. was uh. Yeah, he the guy's really good. Yeah, if you get that link, send it to me, and I will post it right up here uh, on this video so everybody watching can uh, check that out as well. All right. But the bottom line is, kids, um, you want to avoid scams at all costs. Um, here's, here's the thing. If it sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. There is nothing in life easy. Nothing. Nothing's well, going to be given to you. There goes my free so. window replacements. Yeah, nope. That's not going to happen, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is they're selling online. <laughs> All right. Um, you remember Brett Favre? He used to quarterback the Packers. Way, way, way back in the day. Hey, real quickly, but, while I'm thinking yeah. about that, I just looked it up. The name of the scam or the scammer thing is Scammer Payback. Scammer and Payback. An, uh huh. That's the Why name do I of never the have YouTube a pin channel. When I need it, I'll text it to you. Okay, that would be perfect because I'll put it right up it, here. And yeah, Scammer, scammer Payback. payback and it, it's a big channel, and he 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 tears them up. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Now, all right, Brett Favre. Brett Favre was a quarterback for the Packers. Uh, during the tail end of his career, he wavered on whether or not he wanted to retire. Yeah, I'll retire. No, I won't. Yeah, I'll retire. No, I won't. Ended up playing a couple more years with them and then got traded to another team. It must be something Jets. in that Wisconsin water. Because our good friend A. Aaron Rodgers a. A. Ron. has been going back and forth. And now he's decided, yeah, okay, I I can be traded. So, and, and six degrees of separation, they both have one Super Bowl. They both had lots of expectations in Green Bay and both never got it done again in Green Bay. That's eerie. So, I'm just letting all y'all know, if you're a fan of Jordan Love, that's what you have to look forward to. Ten years from now, he's going to start wavering on whether he wants to retire or not. Well, his <laughs> replacement's waiting in the wings. But the bright side of that, if that's true, you guys are going to get a Super Bowl here pretty quick. Maybe, because there's one common equation in all of this, whether it be Carr, Brady, or Rodgers. We still got no defense. No, 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 not you. I'm talking about the Packers. If if that's the occasion, the Packers are going to oh, get a Super Bowl. I thought you were alluding to where uh, I thought you were nah. alluding to Rodgers. No, we haven't got that far yet. Yeah, Don't get excited. Yeah. <laughs> not oh, why y'all are in the AFC West. I'm not going to get excited. It doesn't have anything to do with the AFC West. I'm thinking that this is just all going to blow up in uh, McDaniel's face. He did everything he could to get rid of uh, Carr, and he doesn't have an insurance policy. Not a good position in the draft. Not a good veteran waiting in the wings. Well, you say not a good position in the draft. As of February 7th, he doesn't have a good position in the draft, but 
if their plan is to trade Carr, they're going to get they're going to go up in the draft. But they're going to get fairly compensated. Do you think Carr wouldn't tell the other teams, "Hey, don't worry about me. We can work out a deal on the side. That way, you don't." Why would he want to give up draft picks for the team that he's going to? He can't just go to another team. He's under contract. The uh, only way he, it, if they cut him on February fourteenth, they're not going to cut him. They're not going to cut him. They cut him before they uh, pay him to stay because that forty million or five million, that's a high price backup because you know they don't want to start him. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess if they're cutting him, then yes, there is. Now he's no, no Chase Daniel, so you know that's the only guy I know that can be a backup and get paid big money. <laughs> Right. Uh, I mean, I guess if they end up cutting him, then it is what it is. But my thing would be, if I was the Raiders and my goal is to cut him or to trade him, I'm going to go ahead and keep him past his roster day so... On paper, he's guaranteed, you said, what, the $40 million? Uh, the morning of February 15th. No, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Because once I trade him, that contract goes with him. Yes. So I'm not necessarily going to be on the books for it. You know what I mean? If that's my end goal. Now, granted, I do believe... Carr has a no trade clause, um, or he gets to decide where he goes. Yes, basically, absolutely. So that's going to be a big deal. But <clears throat> this is the NFL, man. Yeah, I, I'm just I would, wondering if um, if the Raiders just let him go, like cut him before the 14th. If they actually do that, that is a, another shining example of how dysfunctional that franchise is. Because you're giving up on your star quarterback who's done nothing but play his heart out for you guys. And you're basically just giving him away. I know, I know you're not a car fan, but there's a YouTube channel that, uh, my God, the video was almost an hour long. It had highlights of all a car's Man. big games. I didn't realize how many comebacks he had and how many big games he had. So was that, that was a short video, right? No, it was almost an hour. And, <laughs> and, if you look at the receivers in these highlights, a lot that you of play field with, goals. There was a lot of receivers that uh, you're like, "Wow, that's all he had." And you know, a lot of people say, "Well, this year he had Devontae Adams and he had um, Renfro and he had Waller." No, he didn't. They Waller and Renfro were hurt for two thirds of the season, and you could double team Devontae. Even though Devontae still got lots of catches, lots of yards, and lots of TDs. He could have got more yeah. if those two weren't hurt. Yeah, but also, it, you know, close your eyes and say, screw it. Devontae's down there somewhere. That that don't help either. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Um, and no, I... <clears throat> so here's my thing. I don't dislike Carr. He's just a Raider player, so... Just in general, just like you have some distaste for Chiefs players just because they're wearing the red and gold. Hey, Killer Trav is my guy. He is. No, no, no. I'm not saying that, that but, you don't respect them, but you don't want them to do good when they're playing your team. Right. So that's kind of how I'm... I could give two craps less about Derek Carr and where he goes. I, I really don't care. Um, and I don't dislike him. I actually, as a as a faith believer, I, I really do like him because of his Christian beliefs and backgrounds and things like that. Yeah, he's a good uh, character respect, guy. There's no question yeah, about that. Definitely respect him. But he's just not – he's not a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. No, I will say that as well. He doesn't have the quote-unquote killer instinct that you have to have. I mean, he I would mean, have to have the 2000 – Baltimore Ravens defense and an offensive minded coach like uh that coach that you Brian Billick ain't that his name? Yeah. Um that would be able to work because Trent Dilfer won the Super Bowl with them. So I mean 
Carr is a much better quarterback overall than Trent Dilfer. But he would need oh, yeah. he he needs every he needs all 53 men to play their part. Not that any team doesn't, but like Tom Brady made people better. Joe Montana made people better. John Elway made people better. Dan Marino made people better. Now, granted, Dan Marino didn't win a Super Bowl. But well, he was in one. Right. But Carr isn't that guy. Carr needs other players to make him better, if that makes sense. That Not taking anything sense. away from him. Not taking anything away from him because he is he's a decent quarterback. He's just... You know, if there's, not three, win, if there's three well, tiers of quarterbacks, he would probably, and this is a Raider fan telling you, I believe that he's the bottom of the second tier. You know, we had this conversation at the beginning of the season. You know, he's not, he may not be in the top 10, but he's somewhere around 11 or 12. Yeah, he's a solid C minus average if you were going to grade quarterback. He'd be right in the middle. All right, enough about Derek. Um, before we get into full fledged, but before we move on, or where do you think he's going to go? I'm going to give you two answers my heart and my head. My heart says he should be a jet, everything is laid out there for him if he's a jet. My head says that he's going to end up in the New Orleans Saints or the Carolina Panthers. I don't know why Carolina is a dark horse on this, but I'm, 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 I'm just thinking that. <laughs> He's going to he's gonna take one of those deals, and I wouldn't if I was him because those two teams are further away from what he says his goal is. If his goal is to really go deep in the playoffs, maybe he can get to a Super Bowl, he has a better chance with the Jets. He has a better chance with the Titans. Um, he doesn't have as good a chance with Carolina. He, he doesn't he have even any has a better chance with the Redskins. He doesn't have – the Redskins don't play with us. In the NFL no more. Uh I'm sorry, the commanders. Uh the uh he, he has no chance of getting to a Super Bowl if he's for an AFC team. No shot. There's too many there's too many powerhouses in that division or in that conference, quarterback wise. Um Carolina is Carolina is a decent thought because Frank Wright was just hired as their head coach mm -hmm. and he's a quarterback whisperer so that might be that might be interesting they got a decent defense they're not bad no i just think washington is better than carolina if you're gonna you know go with the nfc team yeah but you got a defensive head coach he doesn't need that ron revere is a is a defensive head coach you don't need that you need an offensive true head coach. but if you look at their offense they had everything Taylor Heineke couldn't get them over the hump. Uh, so, and who was the one from uh, Philly that ended up over there? Was it Nick Foles? Uh, probably. I mean, he went to Jacksonville and then somewhere else. But, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah he wasn't the answer. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I will I say think this. Washington's Wherever he okay. goes as a man, I will root for him except for when he's playing the Raiders. And as stupid as I think front office management is, ownership and coaching of my squad, I'm still a Raider fan. I'm not a fan of them, and I hope that they prove me wrong. I really do. And did I say hallelujah for Brady's retirement? <laughs> we'll see if it sticks. Yeah, we will. So I got a question for you, show. Yes, sir. If they wrote a book uh, about your life, what would it be and why? Man, I read this when you sent it to me last night, and I don't have an answer. I, I just, I, I really don't. Um, This might be one that I have to come back to you next week to actually give you a good answer. I don't just want to throw something out there. Um. Easy answer would just be, well, it's the big show. Just like they do when he walked out to the ring. Yeah, I was going to say, there might be some copyright infringement on that. Right. 
Uh, well, yeah, because even on my uh, PlayStation handle, I'm 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 batter Big Show because you know those ones are already gone. Um, I don't know. That's a really tough one. I would I would like to have another week to actually give you a better answer. Let's do that. Let's take a week. Let's dwell on it. And we'll both come out swinging with that next week. And I think the thing is because you added that last part and the why. So that's that that makes it a little deeper than just throwing out a title, you know. Yeah, because you got to talk about your life, you know. Right. So, yeah, <laughs> give me a week. We'll, we'll come. We'll address that next week. All right. As long as um, as long as we're talking about next week, it is possible. For everybody at home, if you checked out the show uh, from the the past week, it is possible that we will have Kevin Manning and Nelson Shields back uh, next week since the Super Bowl is about to go down. As y'all know, Nelson's an Eagles fan. Kevin's a Chiefs fan. So, me and... And they're going to watch the Super Bowl together. Yeah, so one of them might not be alive. That's why I say it's possible. (laughs) But me and you did not go all in on our score predictions last week. We said we would wait till this week. I did say it would be 27-24. I'm holding to that, but I will reveal who will be on that 27 end. Would you like me to go first or? Sure, go ahead. Eagles in a shocker. 27-24. 27-24. It's not really a shocker. Well, Kansas City can play from behind like nobody's business. It's not like it's like they're not even behind. They're like, oh well, we'll turn it on. But I think for some reason, if they fall behind, this is going to be one of those games where it's going to be a little difficult to catch up. Now, I'm not going to be shocked if the Chiefs win, but I'm kind of thinking in a close game, it'll still be the Eagles because of that defense and and barely. That's fair. That's fair. And I think I said 42 to 7 last week. Is that is that what I, I think said? you were joking? I mean, we were gonna get your <laughs> I real was, score and your I definitely was not serious. Um, because the Eagles are not gonna score seven points on us. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um the, the reason why I really wanted to wait because I wanted to do some more research. And I wanted to watch a few of the uh the Eagles games this year. And then it dawned on me, we played these guys in Philadelphia last year, mm-hmm. week number four. And I went back to watch that game. That final score was 42 to 30. Kansas City won in mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts was the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, their wide receiver core has changed a little bit compared to last year but i also and i'm going to pull this up real quick so i see what you're saying they didn't have quite the defense either last year but you could see that everything was coming together to be honest until you brought it up i forgot that they played the eagles last year too i mean it wasn't a standout game for the eagles No, no, it was not. Um, I mean, no, it was. Like when you say standout, they they moved the ball well. I mean, a lot of stuff that they did. I mean, Sirianni, Sirianni was their head coach last year, so they were running the same offense. Jalen Hurts was killing us in the, you know, the sweeps and the runs, and he was deadly accurate. And he had Zach Ertz as a tight end, who's not with him anymore. Mm-hmm. Um But it also dawned on me our defense that we had on the field last year Mm -hmm. at that game week number four. Um, do you you know who our defense is, right? I mean, like, could you name them play position for position? Oh, not all of them, no. Okay. So last year's this this was the starting defensive line for the Kansas City Chiefs during that game. At defensive end was Mike Dana. Who's not there? At defensive tackle was Derek Noddy. I don't believe Derek's there anymore either. Yeah, D- Derek is there. He is there. Uh, they don't call his yeah, name he... a lot. Um, 
the other defensive tackle was Jaron Reed, who's not with him, who's not there. Mm-hmm. And then the other defensive end was Chris Jones. Chris Jones was playing end instead of tackle. So this year we have who? We have Frank Clark, Karloftis, Jones, and then it interchanges with the with the other one. I think Naughty's in there, and you have Colin Saunders. Mm-hmm. So I would say defensively on the defensive end, we're a better team there last year. Linebackers, we had Nick Bolton. That guy's still there. The other two were Anthony Hitchens and Ben Neiman. Mm. And if you're a fan of this show, you know my distaste for Ben Neiman. But this year, who we got? Nick Bolton, Willie Gay, and then uh, the the rookie uh, who escapes my Chanel. Chanel. Uh, wow, I got to say you're better this year, too. DB's Legarius Sneed. He's he's there. Mm-hmm. Honey Badger, not there. Dan Sorensen, and that's who I thought would have had been the the bane of your oh. disdain. Right oh, there. that's the uh, that's the bane part too. Okay. <laughs> Sorensen and Neiman, they yeah, you do not get me started. Uh, and then the other one was uh, Hughes. The other line, the other quarterback, Hughes, Justin Hughes. I mean, not uh, Mike Hughes. I think it was Mike Hughes. Okay, why did I say Justin? I don't know. Um, so you know, obviously our DBs they're younger, but they're better. So defensively, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, they're rookies, right? Um, we've got two DB rookies now, and then. The other one is a second-year player. But, and I know people have heard this phrase before, and let's just get it out of the way. This late in the season, I mean, it's the freaking Super Bowl. There are no more rookies. There are no more rookies. You've played 17 games <clears throat> in the National Football League. If you don't know your assignments, some, you should need to be on the field. I, I don't think when you call them a rookie now, especially this late in, in the season, that you're worried about, like, their playtime, but their – um experience handling the big situations okay because obviously you know the world's going to be watching and every move is going to be under a microscope uh but real quickly on offense uh obviously we still have the same quarterback uh we still have the same tight end and then for the most part our line is the same you know brown thuny humphrey Smith, the difference in our right tackle was Lucas Niang, and we have a revolving door right now at right tackle, so I don't really know who's going to start and play. But technically, that offensive line was slightly better because of Niang. But our running back was CEH. I think we're better there, and our wide receivers. Well, by the field. way, he was he's a, he's been activated for the Super Bowl. Correct, because uh, they put Hardman on injury reserve. But our wide receivers were Hill, Hardman, and Robinson. None of those guys are going to be playing in the Super Bowl. Nope. So I I, I like our shots. I, I like our chances. Um, you say 27-24. I, I think that's a little bit too low of a score. Um, if I was a bet man, I would bet the over on this game, which I think is 50 and a half. Now, I will uh, say this. Even though I'm not a Chiefs fan, I'm smart enough to know them and understand them as a member of the AFC West. And if you said you're taking the over, if this is a higher scoring game than this, than what I predicted, then it, it falls into the chief's favor. Well, 27, 24 will still get you the over. Cause nah, I think but I'm saying 15 and a half. I'm looking 35, 27. That's kind of where I'm at chiefs. Well, if either any team, either one of those teams score more than 27 points, I'm going with Kansas City because at what point, no matter how good your defense is, can you withstand a barrage if it's a shootout? Well, they both did last year. The score was 42 to 30. Chiefs, right? Right. But but yeah, so that's what like, I'm saying. It, it, that it, was it, towards it, the end, but the, the, you're saying 27-24. Not that I'm trying to steer your clear, but this is not the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Oh, I know. It's I know. it's not going to be that type of game, in my opinion. It's going to be an offensively. I'm not worried about the Eagles' defense. I'm really not because the Chiefs tend to shred top defenses. They just do. Now, are are the Eagles going to have their plays and make their hits and and do their thing? Yes, but are they going like, like this? Isn't the 49ers that they're playing? With right. you know, no, no starting quarterback. This isn't the Giants with Danny Dimes, who are basically one dimensional. The Colts, and I, I realize the Colts beat us, but the Colts also beat the Eagles seventeen to sixteen. So you're right. We are you're so right. we are so uh, evenly matched. I just think the bet we're better at the key positions. Head coach, tight end, quarterback. That's going to put us over. And I, I don't think it's going to be a field goal game. I, I really don't. I really don't care as long as the Chiefs win. I'm I'm ready to do this next week and say, ring me. <laughs> I'm still going with my original pick. You know, I'm not going to waver there. But like I said, I know I said it once. You I'm ready for bastard. my third one. That's shiny. I'm ready for my third one. Because here's the here's here's Super Bowl number four. And there's fifty four. That's right. It was fifty years to the day. Took That's right. Enough. Hey, but we've been back there in the last four years three times. So I'm ready for my next one. I thought about doing that, but then I said to myself, self, I got no reason to until we get there again. And then I'll be looking at four yep hopefully you might get it with Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback I'm I'm not even going to entertain that thought right now until something is ironclad they don't even know what they're doing with Carr yet so if they don't know what they're doing with him yet I can't depend on them to know what they're doing with a future quarterback all right Continuing on with the Super Bowl, I know we got a couple minutes left. I just want to, you know, do the warped part of slightly warped. Over, under, give me a number on how many good commercials you think there's going to be. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to say, like, define good. What What's good? Like, just where you like, man, that was that was a very well put together one or just one that everybody's talking about the next day? Well put together. I I, I would it, say least, yeah. over. I would say if the over was five, I would probably go under. Really? So probably like I'd probably say four really good ones. The other ones are just going to be meh. They're going to be all right. I'm going to say five because you know there's going to be like one every quarter that we like. And, I mean, and out of that five, there's going to be two of them that were outstanding, and the other three were. They were okay, you know. Well, well, you know, there's only four quarters, right? Yeah. Okay. But during during each quarter, there's how many commercial breaks? So true that. But you said each quarter there's gonna be one you're really gonna like. So that's still my yeah. four. Unless we're going overtime, then there might be five. The problem is, is by the by the end of the game, they'll start repeating them. Well, I'm also thinking halftime too. There's gonna be a couple commercials, halftime show, a couple commercials, then back to the game. Yeah, I, I'm just ready for Rihanna. Are you now? Oh, yeah. I am, but I'm not. I hope she has a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> <laughs> now, real talk. I'm The reason why I'm not just looking forward, looking forward to the halftime show, I don't want to be let down if it's mediocre. I don't want Rihanna to come out and do two songs and then a bunch of guests come out and they do all their songs that we don't really care about and then the halftime show is over. Well, she's not supposed to have any guests. Normally they okay. say, but, you know, because I think The weekend did it when we lost to Tampa Bay and that one was kind of sucked. But maybe just sucked I because we it, lost. Yeah. It, it, I mean, maybe it just sucked because we lost. But it, it, last it, year's it, was it pretty dope with Dr. Dre and everybody. That was pretty good. Yeah, that one wasn't bad at all. Um... And then the year that we won was J-Lo and Shakira. That one was pretty awesome. Well, the Shakira part was for sure. 
<laughs> okay. So look, guys, we promise that we're coming back with the book of our lives next week. We're going to talk the aftermath of the Super Bowl next week. Hopefully, show is in a wonderful mood, sizing that ring finger, and um, maybe we're going to have a knockdown drag out between Nelson and Kevin. So in any I case, promise there should you, be some kind of fireworks. I promise you, no matter what happens, I'll be in a good mood. Well, that's because we record on Tuesdays. You got a couple of days away from it. And... Right. But the only way that I would probably still be upset is if if the Philadelphia Eagles make my score a, a fruition and it's 42 to 7, but they're in the 42. That would be the only way that I would be really pissed off. And I probably will not show up. I'll just let y'all do y'all thing. <laughs> you heard it here first, everybody. Y'all watching on YouTube, but, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Any thoughts as we get out? Nope, just same old give uh, love to your loved ones. Give them a big old hug. Be sure to give them their roses now while they're alive and they can still smell them. Got good thoughts. And I have one more thought real quick before we go. If the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, don't get liquored up. Don't end up in any trees. Oh! oh! Until the Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Later, show. See you, buddy.